Hey children, the next lesson is about the respiration in organisms. So the new lesson we are going to deal about the respiration in organisms, the very meaning of respiration. It's the one of the basic life feature, isn't it? So the every organism which is living has the characteristic feature of respiration. Now we should know what is respiration. Respiration is a process of uh, taking in of oxygen or the it's uh, obtaining the energy by the oxidation of food. Respiration is obtaining the energy by oxidation of food. It is the process in which the oxygen is taken in while the carbon dioxide is released out. Oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is released out in the process of respiration and energy is produced. So you might have doubt of we already we breathe in continuously. So the breathing or the respiration or are they one and the same? No, they are not one and the same. Why? Why is, are they, these two terms different? That is the doubt that you get. You may say that it is right. We can say even it is a breathing or process or respiration process. It is one and the same as we taking air which is called as inhalation or give out, giving out of air from our body or that is called as exhalation or expiration. So, Give, taking in of air and giving out of air is called as breathing. You know it. From the smaller standard, you are learning about the breathing process that goes on in all the living organisms. But breathing is a biophysical process. Biophysical process. Whereas respiration is biochemical process. It takes place inside the cell of the body, cells of the body of a living organism. Okay, children. So now we'll see what are what is the difference between the respiration and breathing. Breathing is the first step of in the respiration process. We can say how is it? So in the process of respiration, what happens? The it uh, the. Um, it obtains this is the process of obtaining energy by the oxidation of food. It is called as respiration. In fact, during respiration, the energy is released when inhaled air or the oxygen from the atmosphere help the digested food in our body to burn with the oxygen from the atmosphere that is being inhaled in. The carbon dioxide then that is formed will be sent out in the process of expiration. So the respiration is a life process that occurs in all the living organisms. Okay, at times you can stop the breathing for a few seconds but later you feel suffocated, isn't it? So when you sometimes when you close your nose and mouth, what happens? You cannot hold the, your breath for even a few minutes, isn't it? So a few seconds also it's very difficult for you to hold your breath. Some may hold, but only for a very, very, very few seconds, isn't it? So this is a due to suffocation that occurs without the inhalation of oxygen and obtaining the energy for respiration process that helps for to provide the energy to your body to carry out various metabolic activities as one of the metabolic activity is respiration which enhances the various other pro life processes in our body so Respiration is a biochemical process which takes place inside the body of a living organism and the breathing is a very first process or the first step that takes place in the respiration process. In breathing process, the main major two steps are inhalation and exhalation. So what is inhalation and what is exhalation? Inhalation means taking in of air. Exhalation means giving out of air or that is carbon dioxide. Taking in of air that is oxygen and giving out of air is carbon dioxide that generally takes place in human beings or animals. Okay, as you know, in plants, 
plants take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen in previous lesson you have learned about it that uh, there is a mutual that is a uh, uh, plants take in oxygen uh, sorry take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen in fact making the air pure whereas the air animals uh, make the air impure by releasing the carbon dioxide you have already learnt about it uh, with the experiments of joseph Priestly, isn't it? Yes, you know that about the exchange of gases that takes place between the animals and the plants. Okay, so now we'll see now the respiration process in different organisms, both plants and animals. Now, first the definition of respiration. What is respiration? Respiration is process of obtaining energy by oxidation of food. Once again, I'll write on the book, you know down. Okay, come on. Okay, children, see here. The process of obtaining energy by oxidation of food is called respiration. Breathing. It is the first step in respiration. It is the process of taking in of air into our body and leaving out of air from our body. Now, here you see the respiration it takes place inside the cell of the or cells of the organisms releasing energy where i said that the during respiration process the energy released where the energy is released when the inhaled oxygen it helps the digested food to burn and the carbon dioxide thus formed during this oxidation process will be sent out from the body during the expiration process so that is of the breathing is the first step of the respiration process breathing occurs outside the body and no release of energy that it in, does not involve the release of energy in the breathing process okay children so we can say that respiration is a biochemical process whereas breathing is a biophysical process it is bio chemical process whereas breathing is a biophysical process it involves only inhaling and exhaling of air inhaling of air is called as inhalation what do you mean by inhalation children inhalation means taking in of air exhalation means giving out or leaving out of air from the body so taking in of air of air that is oxygen generally in animals oxygen into the into the body is called as inhalation it's also called as inspiration what is it called as inspiration okay children so now giving out of air giving out of a which air is given out carbon dioxide generally by the animals or human beings giving out of the a from the body from the body it's called as exhalation what is it called as children it is called as exhalation or it is also called as expiration what is it called expiration so the number of times we breathe in and breathe out air it is called as respiration rate what is it called respiration rate what is respiration rate what is respiration rate the number of times we breathe in and breathe out air in a minute the number of times we breathe in and breathe out a number of times we breathe in and breathe out a in a minute it is called as respiration rate okay children so the breathing is a continuous process you know it if the breath stops there is no life isn't it so you know that breathing is a continuous process it takes place continuously in your body that is even when you sleep also but the rate of the respiration varies 
when you do the different types of uh, exercises or uh, running or any metabolic activity that is being carried out in your body so that is the physical activity also enhances the respiration rate of your body how is it possible so you can see while you generally generally when you run or when you swim or do the physical exercise or dance or any movement so brisk uh, brisk walk like that if you do any um, movements to the body very fast then you can observe that uh, rate of um, inhalation inhaling and exhaling uh, rate will be increasing so much isn't it so the rate of respiration increases when while you do vigorous exercises isn't it children so it is about the rate of respiration it varies while doing the, the respiration rate varies at different times by this we can explain you know down this points children first of all so children you know that during respiration process the energy is obtained by taking in of oxygen and releasing the carbon dioxide and water and so in this process of respiration the the body takes in oxygen our body in our body muscle can also respire in the absence of oxygen in our body muscles generally if you see the athletics athletics or heavy weight lifters develop the muscle cramps after fast running or heavy exercise it is due to the accumulation of the lactic acid in the that is in their muscles so for them to the, what happens during massage or a hot water bath it improves the blood circulation and the supply of oxygen to the muscle increases and availability of oxygen results to the complete breakdown of the lactic acid into the carbon dioxide and water so this helps for them to the production of energy so in fast athletics uh, the people who participate in exercises or athletics uh, they uh, they use up the energy that is of uh, the oxygen that is present in their muscles also so uh, they uh, what do they do when they do the vigorous exercises the supply of oxygen to their body is more so they need more and more oxygen and uh, to produce the energy to to run for the athletics people or those who do the vigorous exercise the amount of oxygen present in them is very uh, less that is there is maybe insufficient for them so the, to require the to for the requirement of the extra energy to meet their extra energy they take the oxygen from the muscles so the muscle cells start producing or respiring in the absence of oxygen okay children so in the muscles lactic acid produced in the place of alcohol in general the alcohol is produced so food molecules are partially broken down into into ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide in the absence of oxygen in the absence of oxygen the food in the absence of oxygen is broken down into alcohol and carbon dioxide with less amount of energy is being produced in the presence of oxygen carbon dioxide is released with the release of water okay children so that is about the respiration now in the respiration i told you the number of times we breathe in and breathe out air in a minute is called as respiration rate so the respiration rate usually increases in the people who do the vigorous exercises that is they expire so the number of times they expire increase or decrease children it increases isn't it so the pant you may be seeing that while you come out from the games you might be panting a lot so isn't it your chest your lungs um, your the you take more and more oxygen try to take more and more oxygen to get the energy to move isn't it that is how the energy is being used up from the muscles to at that moment okay children so in the absence of oxygen also at times we breathe with the help of the muscles okay so sometimes we uh, the uh, muscle cramps also occur so we if you massage hot water bath and oil massage helps us for 
good breathing process uh, and blood circulation in our body also increases so what how can you know that while breathing what happens inside our lungs so the air enters our nose through the nose it enters and reaches the lungs and the lungs expand so during expansion what happens so during expansion the chest size increases isn't it due to the expansion of the lungs the size of the chest increases how can you know it can be known by a simple experiment by taking a small that is 